What's good everyone? I am Bodan43 and today I'm bringing you a very important tip. I think you guys will enjoy it. I'm doing a behind the scenes video and today I'm telling you how you can record your voices and your friends' voices with the PS4. We all want to know how to do this, but a lot of the videos on YouTube say that you got to use an Elgato capture card. That is not the case. I figured out a way to how to rig it to be able to record. Now, I mean, it's not the best way to do it. However, it is a way to do it, and I'm still investigating on how a better way to record and just give people voices, but I still haven't made very much process on it. I think what's how it goes is that I think the game uh, decides if they want a privacy on whether you can record people voice or not because on Watch Dogs I was able to record Fuzzy Chromos voices when we just goofing off and stuff like that. I wasn't in a party so I think there are just restrictions on around the whole case. I'm still developing and kind of looking and just playing around with what I can do. But anyway guys I hope you joined this video and let's get over to my workstation so I can show you how I record with my PS4 and stuff like that. So let's go! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Well, that was embarrassing. Wasn't it? I'm <laughs> just kidding, guys. Let's go to the, the station. Alright guys, the most important thing about recording other people's voices on the PS4 is to just have a headset that can you can adjust the chat audio and the game audio. This is very important because what you want to do is you want to turn the game audio all the way down and your chat audio all the way up. The reason for this is that you want the chat audio as loud as possible so you can get a good recording through your headset. And what do I mean by that? This is what I mean. So basically I lay my headset flat like this on a flat surface, but you gotta have it close to you so you can still capture your own voice. And you just kind of put the microphone in the middle. And I also like to put my phone in the middle so it spreads out or anything really, just kind of get it spread out a little bit more. And that way you have better like audio waves getting to the microphone and it has better sound. And then, like I said, you wanna be pretty close or you just wanna talk really loud, but the farther you are away, the more hollow it's gonna sound. And so you really don't want to sound hollow, so you want to try to be as close as possible to it. And basically after this, you just, like for example, I just lay mine right here, put my phone there, works good, just get close. And as you guys seen from my previous Grand Theft Auto videos, or you can just click on like in the description, or I have this in the video if you haven't seen those yet. But the audio came out pretty good. It just the people I played with, um, microphones are not the best but they work I'm not I'm not trying to rat on them about that I mean I had a crappy microphone when I first started out but anyway I'm getting off topic and so now the biggest issue is that how am I gonna hear the game right yeah hearing the game is pretty important I mean I want to hear my game right I just pay sixty dollars for a game I want to hear it <laughs> yeah so to fix this problem, what I discovered is that on the back of my TV, I, I don't know about other people's TVs, I mean, I, I know on mine it does, that there's a jack for the headphones, and so I just plug it in there, put it on, and then I can adjust the audio that I had coming through my headphones with the remote. So the higher the volume, the higher the sound. And these are the headphones I use. It's pretty easy, I, I only spent like $20 on them, I mean, they're just used to use music, I mean, you can use earbuds, whatever you prefer. It all works the same as long as it plugs in there. And the reason why this works is because it all starts in the PlayStation and basically all the sound is routing to the your headset. However, once it leaves the PlayStation, it goes to the TV. And so the TV has nothing to do with the PlayStation except maybe getting the, the uh, screen and audio, but your audio is already kind of translating to the headset. And this, this is kind of way to multi multitask the audio. It's really cool, honestly. And so, I, I don't know what got me to think about it, but I got it together. And so, basically, after you have all that done, just go in at a party with your friends. And pretty much, that's all, all to it. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. I really hope you guys can record your own games with this. I mean, it, I don't think it's going to work for everybody, but... I'm still working on trying to figure out a reasonable, good um, way to do it. I know you can live stream and record people voices that way. However, I don't have the best internet, so it don't work for me. I've tried it. It's very grainy, and it's just really hor really hor horrible quality. There we go. I could get the word out. And there just went my controller. Shit. 
All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you guys don't believe me that this don't work, because I know I didn't really show it in, like, use, so you can be like, man, this guy's crazy, this ain't gonna work, then click on one of the videos at the very end, and you will be able to see examples of what I've done. I've done two Grand Theft Autos this way, and if, if that don't work, in case you're on mobile, because you can't click and link, I, it's stupid, but you should be able to, but you don't. You can go into the description, and you can click on those videos, and just watch the Grand Theft Auto one to see how the audio turned out. I think it went pretty well, but you will never know until you try, so I hope I can see you guys try this out in the future. Anyway guys, vote on 43 is, man, what am I doing for this one? I don't know, but I'll just catch you guys in my next video, see you later.